Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I wanted to come and quickly talk to you about a new product from Anastasia Beverly Hills, again. <laughs> and if you haven't seen, I have recently uploaded a review of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit called Sun Dipped and my thoughts on it. And I am using it today and it's really pretty. <laughs> and this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette and it's called Modern Renaissance. This one finally is not limited edition like every other palette that Anastasia Be Beverly Hills have released. So that's really, really good because I am actually a fan of her eyeshadow palettes. So this palette retails for £41 here in the UK. I believe it's like $42 in the US, but I may be wrong. You can get this palette from Pulp Beauty, Beauty Bay. You can also get it from Lustre Cosmetics, who I've done a video um, about before. Uh, and this is actually where I got this one from. So there are different places that you can pick it up, but remember it's permanent. so. It's not something you have to go and rush out and get. So it comes in this box, which is really pretty. It's just a like purple pink kind of packaging. It's called Modern Renaissance. At the back, you do have the eyeshadow details as well. So here's the palette. Now, the outer packaging of this palette, as you can see, it's lovely. It's, it's a beautiful color. It's the same color as the box. However, the only thing I don't like about the outer packaging is that it's that kind of suede kind of material. The problem with that is that it picks up so much dirt. I've had to clean this before I came on camera because it was just too embarrassing. I had like foundation marks on it. I had eyeshadow on it. Like everything was just on this palette. I was like scrubbing away with a tea towel and yes, the tea towel actually cleaned it. So that's all I did and I managed to clean it off using this. Now when you open up the eyeshadow palette it comes with the eyeshadows inside and it comes with a brush which I've actually been using. I do like these brushes. So it's got like a blending tip at the end there and then it's just got like a eyeshadow packing brush on the other side there. Now guys can you see these eyeshadows? Like this this is why I got excited about this and the fact that I was so happy it's permanent because these these typify my kind of eyeshadow look. I love the colour selection in this. You do have your really deep like orange tones and then you have your plum tones and then you have your brick reds and then you have like this purple which is like the packaging purple and I've got that all over my lid today. This is what I'm using to create my eyeshadow look today and then you've got like some paler colours here which are quite nice. There aren't any blacks in this but you do have this really deep brown eyeshadow which is quite nice and that's what I've got on my outer corner today. This shade here which is great as a base for deeper skin tones, really really good as an all over base or even this colour here is really good as an all over base so you do have really really good options in here however as I said if you are more of that cool tone person then this probably wouldn't wouldn't really do much for you. Now you do have a mixture of mattes and shimmers in this. The majority of my look is actually all mattes um, from using this palette. So yeah, I really, really, really enjoy them. However, I already knew that I loved Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows because I love her palettes anyway. So the quality for me isn't really something I needed to assess. The only thing I will say is, I don't know, I don't know if I can recall this or not from the other palettes, but the only thing for me with this eyeshadow palette is that I find that it does pick up a lot of eyeshadow, like a lot of fallout. However, when I apply it, it doesn't necessarily transfer as fallout on me. So, but when you're actually putting your brush into this, it does kick up a lot, a lot of eyeshadow. So that's the only issue that I personally have with this. Now this eyeshadow palette is quite expensive at that 41 pound range. All her other palettes were around that 26 pound, 28 pound mark. I don't know why it's got such a steep increase, but I do know that she does have more eyeshadows in the permanent one. So in this one, she has included 14 eyeshadows and in the other ones, her limited edition ones, I think you had like 12 in there. So maybe that's why, I don't know. And maybe because it's permanent, it's gonna be, I don't know, more expensive to maintain and to upkeep, you know, it to keep it within the line. So maybe that's all part of the pricing. Is it worth it? I think it is worth it. Personally, I think it could be a slightly cheaper, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't think it's too overpriced for what you get because the quality is there and you are getting 14 eyeshadows and you know, the, the packaging's really nice despite the fact that it does get dirty and it's a permanent line so you can repurchase it as well. So however, 
you know there are cheaper options out there i don't know in terms of quality but in terms of the color selection then i'd say you could try out the makeup revolution neutrals versus neutrals palette so that's very similar in tone so i'll quickly show you so this is the makeup revolution neutrals versus neutrals eyeshadow palette and i love this palette and i think the quality of this is really really good at the top you've got the makeup revolution neutrals versus neutrals eyeshadow palette which, which i love i'm a big fan of and then at the bottom you've got the anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palette definitely similarities there as you can see so if you are not willing to splurge on the anastasia one or you don't want to splurge on it yet then try out this one so i'll quickly show you some swatches i won't swatch everything but i'll just swatch some of the colors for you so that's some of the matte colors swatched right there and you know that they're so pigmented when you have like stains on your fingers and here are some of the shimmer shades gorgeous so guys, hopefully you found that to be useful and I did try and give you a an affordable option as well. Definitely, like I said, I would definitely recommend it to you. Let me know what you think. Have you got this palette? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I love it. So <laughs> I can't say much more than that. Definitely one of my go-to palettes of recent. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video very soon, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Ciao. So I've just mixed the two together and it's given me this really, really nice, like warm, golden look. So really love it.